Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Abdul Rahman Batata. Today I will explain the ACE ratio, how to measure it in the heterophoria method and in the gradient method. Here there is a case, 31 year old man. Okay, he has moderate hyperphobia. And in the routine examination, he has 10 present diopter with alternating isotropia at distance. So at distance, he has 10 present diopter, okay? While reading through his distance correction at 20 centimeter. This is very important. So his reading distance is 20 centimeter. So if we calculate here the power that he need to read, it will equal one at the distance, 20 centimeter. Always you should calculate it in meters, so it will equal to five diopters. Okay. There is 30 prism diopter isotropia. Okay. Here, 30 prism diopter isotropia at near. Okay. So at distant, he has 10 prism diopter, and at near, he has 30 prism diopter isotropia. Eye movements are full, and he denies any history of prior surgery. So he must have amblyopia in one eye, or he probably has restric restrictive strabismus, or he probably will know double vision if he questions appropriately, or he has high AC ratio. If you want here to calculate, there is 25 prism diopter increase in isotropia, like in isotropia at distance, it's 10, and isotropia at near, it's 35. So 35 minus 10, so there is increase 25 prism diopter. What that's mean when there is increase 25 prism diopter from distance to near? That means here there is high ACA ratio. Okay, and patient whose distance is a drop is a drop increased by more than 10 prism diopter at near is said to have a clinically high accommodative convergence to accommodation ratio. So always, what is the rule? If there is increase more than 10 prism diopter, okay, when you just measure between the distance and near isotropia here, more than 10 prism diopters at near, if there is increase more than this value, so always there is high accommodative convergence to accommodation ratio. This is the first point. So then, the next question in regard to this question, the examiner elect to calculate the patient ACA ratio. His interpupillary distance is 60 millimeter. This is very important. And his near deviation increased to 50 prism diopter when he views an acuity target through a minus one sphere diopter over each eye. By the gradient method, his ACA ratio measures. Now, what is the gradient method? Gradient methods, you calculate the ACA ratio equal difference in the deviation induced by a lens divided by the specific accommodate, accommodative gradient. Okay, what that mean? Okay, so here by the gradient method, here at the near, <coughs> there is increase and it reach 50 prism diopter, and you divide it by at the normal without the lens here when he used the lens minus one it reach the isotropy isotropia five prism diopter you divide it by the real isotropia in the first equation which was 35 prism diopter okay and you divide it by one what is the one this is the minus lens that stimulate the accommodation okay this will equal to 15, okay. Let me just make it more clear. So 50 minus 35, and you divide it by one, this will equal to 15 over one. Okay, so the ACA ratio, it will be 15 over one. So just again, so in the gradient method, always, the difference in the deviation induced by a lens divided by the specific accommodative gradient of an extra lens over the distance correction. 
minus lenses always stimulate the accommodation, whereas, whereas the plus lenses blunt it. So 50 minus 35 divided by 1, and it will equal 15 over 1. I hope the gradient method is clear now. Okay, then the last question is talk about the heterophoria method. How we can calculate the heterophoria method? The heterophoria method, SEA ratio here equal the near devi deviation minus the distance deviation. So we have near deviation minus the distance distance deviation. Okay. Divided by the accommodative demand at near. What is the accommodative demand at near? We calculated before. It's we said the twenty centimeter. Okay, and this will equal to five diopters. Okay, so here the near. Here the heterophoria method. First of all, the near deviation minus the distance deviation. What is the near deviation in this equation? It will equal to 35 minus the distance deviation 10 and you just divide it at 5. This will equal here 25 and you divide it at 5. This will equal to 5. Okay, then you add the pupillary distance in centimeter. If you just come back, the question here, what is the pupillary distance here? They said it's 60 centimeter. Okay, the pupillary distance is 60 centimeter. Yes, here. Okay, interpupillary distance is 60 centimeter. It's 60 millimeter. That will equal to six centimeter. So you add it for five, and it will equal to 11. So again here. You have 35 minus 10 over 5. That will equal to 25 over 5. This will give you 5. Then you add the interpupillary distance. It equals 6 centimeter. So the answer, it will be 11 over 1. This is about how to calculate the ACA ratio in the gradient method and in the heterophoria method. I hope it's clear for all of you. Thank you so much. I'm Dr. Abdurrahman Batata. I hope my explanation is clear for all of you. Thank you.